Welcome back to the coaching journey at Bali Ben. And, you know, if you've been with us this whole time, you know it's not pretty in the beginning. Another loss, SEC team, Arkansas. And it's just nothing new, right? Nothing new, right? Just kind of trying to find a way to get the game, get the W. But here, right out the gates, uh, our first home game is going to be against Oregon State's rivalry game. Right out of the, right out of, the, get it out of the way. Big game here. Oregon going to get the ball here to start, start the game. And last week, three turnovers. There, that pretty much did them in. Fumble by the freshman tied in, and then two interceptions, three consecutive drives. So when this offense obviously isn't turning the ball over, it actually looks pretty good, pretty competent. So they really got to put it on him. Uh, had some room to run. I don't know if he tripped or not, but probably not. Probably just a dive. All right, bad book. Nice. Way to find the open space on the little comebacker. And he dives. He's going to be close to the first down marker. And they're going to give it to him. First down and 10. The drive continues. Gain of six. And then dives in there for a gain of three. Be third down and one. Manageable. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do is just kind of... Take it little by little. Nice gain there. Gain of nine. Going to be second down and in inches coming up. Huh? And touchdown. They were looking tight in, but the linebacker was able to pick him up right there. Able to not get sacked. That was a close play. Not a lot of time. And Brait able to get the two-point conversion. Oregon looking a little bit better in their first drive here. Defense, not so much. All right, minute 20 seconds left to go, so that's a lot of time to score here, knowing they're not going to get the ball to start the second half. So they got to go definitely do something. Minimum is a field goal, right? That's what we're looking for, minimum field goal. Freshman not able to bring that one in. Uh-oh, that was picked off but out of bounds. Let's watch that again. Oh, man. Wait, that was a turnover. He threw that. Oh, my. Another interception for this quarterback. That was a tough one. All right. And a fumble on the next play. Exactly. That happened again. Back-to-back -back drives. First play fumbles. And it's just... 18 consecutive points by Oregon State. It's like, what do you even do at this moment? Nothing, right? It's just frustration ensues. Not much you can do. Defense can't stop anybody. And we're right back in the same situation as last week. Down two scores. In this case, it's 8 to 24 instead of 8 to 23. Turnovers in this game are ridiculous. Two games so far, five turnovers. Got to protect the football. Ben Book, 16-yard gain, crossed the 40-yard line. Gain of seven, Mullins. Yeah, throwing at the shoelaces there. Not able to get free. Canoes. Koontz. And 
another shoelace throw. And not having like some, oh, trying to go over the top. Incompletes. Fourth down and five. Got to go for it here. And he sacked. Couldn't get it out. Had a receiver open. And this game is getting a little bit out of hand now. 31 to eight. 31 unanswered points by the Beavers. All right, what are you going to do? It's not getting any better. And just almost throws an interception there. Again, it's just the same old, same old. You know, he's... You want to you want to execute. You want to get better, but it's just not happening, right? Fourth down, nothing happening there. Another t uh, field goal, thirty-four to eight. Again, you, you can't put it all together. Not any can't create any separation. But no running game, no defense whatsoever. And another interception to boot. This is. Starting to look more and more like a pitiful year. They go for another field goal just to add insult to injury. And this should run up the clock right here. Just dive in there. No reason to keep going. And Oregon with another loss. Coach Polly Ben. Again, I don't know if Retro Ball is, you can get a firing, but six turnovers in the first two games. And we got Florida AM next week. See you guys in week three.